So a lot of muscle and a lot of hair. Speaking of muscle and hair. I've never heard Terry Davis refer to his muscle and hair. This man right here, very impressive. Normally, you see him in tag team competition. The Silverback, one half of the Crucible, they own tag team championship gold in just about every promotion here throughout the Midwest. But you know, Brixton Nash would love to add some singles gold to that. We saw him get involved a few weeks ago down at MVP Sports in Des Moines. You know, helped his tag team partner out, get one over on All Steel Jay Fowler in that number one contenders match for the 3X Wrestling Championship. Fowler out for a little bit of retribution, even deciding to put the Rugged Pro title on the line in this one. But that could be a little bit of a mistake. I sure hope he's not overlooking the Silverback. I think he might be looking for a little bit of retribution. You know, and it's funny you mentioned him not a fan favorite as the rugged pro champion All Steel. Jay Fowler makes his way to the ring here to a chorus of booze. At one time, every place this man stepped into, it was the hugest reaction of the night, the biggest pop of the crowd. But since he is refocused, redetermined, has decided that being a fan favorite wasn't getting him anywhere, has put 100% effort into getting to that next level. And he is on the doorstep, knocking, ready to beat it down. We've seen him in the ring time in and time out against individuals that we see on TV every week from your Chavo Guerreros, your John Morrisons, your Mike Bennett. Jay Fowler has held his own with the likes of those competitions. So if you ask me, it's not much longer we're gonna be seeing here in the Midwest on this scene alone. I don't see him knocking on the door. I see him kicking the door down. And you know, not only could Brixton Nash come out here, take some gold away from Jay Fowler, but we just talk about how Jay Fowler is on the cusp of greatness. What does that put a Brixton Nash on? that level to knock off the man who, like I said, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with all those names. Beat most of them. Ladies and gentlemen, the next bout is scheduled for 30 minutes or one fall. And it's for the Rugged Pro Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger to my right. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, weighing in at 230 pounds. He is one half of the Crucible the Silverback, Brixton Nash! Look at the determination, the and intensity the in those eyes. Fighting out of the Steel Factory, weighing in at 202 pounds. He is, pound for pound, one of the best wrestlers in the game today. And the current reigning and defending Rugged Pro Heavyweight Champion, he is All Steel J. Fowler. J. Fowler. No one will ever accuse him of lacking confidence when it comes to stepping into that ring. He has really stepped up his game when he got refocused on what he wanted and how he wanted to be delivered. Absolutely. Completely changed his body, his mindset, his skill set. He's always been one that's been great on the next cup of that level. Can't quite. Yeah. It was that close. Which one? You. There's a, there's a lot of Jeremy's around here, Skeletor. John with the audience here says he's a little bored with the wrestling. He got so good at it. Carl Novo tie up in the dead center of the ring. Brixton Nash usually used to having a size and strength advantage over his opponents, but like you said, all steel Jay Fowler, one of the strongest in the game, pound for pound. And there you see Brixton Nash kind of saying, hey buddy, I'll give you this one, but I'm gonna, 
I got you at any time. Fowler accusing Nash of getting a little close to the face. There's no rules against that. I mean, as long as you stay out of the eye, I think if you get in the eyes, there yeah. might be some problems there. This is not the NFL. There's going to be no penalty for illegal hands to the face. <laughs> Fowler throwing a little shot there at Nash. Of course, we know Nash, one of the students of the Bulletproof Dojo. In fact, Jay Fowler, one of the original students of Jason Strife. Yes. Fair, clean break right there. A little sportsmanship early on here. Either man jockeying for a position here, sizing up their competition, their opponents. Stiffs calling a bow tie up again. No man giving up an inch here. Look at Fowler. Look at that. The low man usually wins in the situation like that, but Brixton Nash able to power him out, and Fowler's got to rethink his strategy here. Silverback Gorilla is a little bit taller. He's got a little bit of a height advantage on Fowler there. A little bit of a reach advantage. Was able to use that to push Fowler to the outside. Now Fowler's just saying, hey man, to slow this down a little bit. I know exactly how long I've got, and this is where the championship advantage comes into play. Jay Fowler does not have to beat a Brixton Nash. Brixton Nash has to beat a Jay Fowler if he wants to win the Rugged Pro Championship. Yep. And Fowler knows that and uses it to the T. Breaks it back, saying, hey man, come cross this line. Fowler duck under, go behind there. Standing side headlock. Using his strength there to bring the big man down to his level. Nash firing up, Fowler floats behind into a hammer lock. Spins it back over. Full arm dragon twist there. Ooh, just wrenches the elbow across the shoulder blade. Back into the standing side headlock there. Now Fowler's just showing that technical savvy ability of his. Ooh. Brick wall. A Brixton wall, if you will. And this is where Fowler may have to rethink his strategy yet again. He was getting the leg up there on technical wrestling on Brixton Nash. Brixton Nash more of a brawler, more of a fighter in there. Ducks the line there, Brixton. Big shoulder tackle, able to take Fowler down right there. <laughs> Nash with a stomp right there. Could have been all, and you can see the look on Brixton Nash's face, oozing confidence right now. As he just said, Fowler nearly, narrowly got out of the way of the freight train right there. I swear he saw his life flash before his eyes when he saw that. Boot coming I in. saw my life, life flash before my eyes there with that boot coming at me. Jeez. And I'm on this side of the guardrail now. No. Uh -oh. Fowler needs to look behind him there. Didn't. <laughs> oh! Why? Right there, like that. Fowler using his experience, his savvy, his mind. Full arm dragon twist into an Irish whip. Sends him off, firing up, getting that extra bit of momentum there. And it was just what it needed to take Big Bricks to Nash down with a clothesline there. Fowler's got him in the rope right there. Terry Davis got to start the four count, the five count. No. Oh. And look at that, not allowing Nash to get his leg out from the grapevine and the ropes. Delivers a couple of shoulder tackles there and then right back to it. That Jay Fowler, very accomplished in the ring, a student of the game. Constantly studying film, some of the greats. Oh, and a stiff kick to the back right there. He's one of the best technical wrestlers for his size, period. And look at that, no wasted motion right on the ankle, on the foot. Big stomp right there. Pressing on that rear tricep. Uh, what's that weird leg muscle? There it's uh, your calf, your triceps in your arm. Jeremy Skeletor, the leg bones connected to the ankle bone, the tricep up by the shoulder bone. 
I don't know. Much. Biting the hand there, I believe. Tough to tell from this vantage point. Big back elbow there. But the crowd here at Fort Frenzy not happy with what we've seen so far from Jay Fowler. Fowler charging up, coming across the corner, but ran right into a big back elbow there. Brixton Nash able to rock Fowler, create some separation. Oh. That could have been everything he had. Oh, beautiful snap suplex there. Fowler off the ropes. Follows it up with a stomp right there. You see Fowler just standing over Brixton Nash. Now he's making him pay. Now you're talking about the revenge element that Fowler wanted to get. In Fowler's mind, Brixton Nash is the reason that he is not facing Moonshine Mantel tonight for the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. Another snap suplex there. Fowler off the ropes. Oh, delivering that steel elbow. Fowler now, like a cat playing with a mouse. He knows he's got an out, just enjoying it. Fowler sizing him up. Nash getting up to his feet. Fowler catches him coming in there. Spinning forearm, fired up again. <laughs> Took his eye off the prize for just a second too long. Here comes Nash. Fowler catches him coming in. Beautiful spine buster right there. Shades of Arn Anderson, the enforcer. And that was much needed from Brixton Nash. Yeah. You can see the damage that's been done to that leg throughout there. Nash coming in across the corner. Now follows it up. Full running uppercut into the corner. Tripping Fowler back down. Oh! Beautiful running knee right there. And look at the look on Fowler's eyes. Glazing over at this point. Brings him up to his feet with one arm. The strength right there. T-bones him up and over. Into a pin. We can have a new Rugged Pro Champion right here. One, two, only a two count. Jesus. Terry Roosevelt down there in position. Fowler able to get the shoulder up. Nash right there. Thought he had it all. Beautiful flurry there, but Brixton Nash has got to stay on Jay Fowler here. I wonder how much of that leg is left in him. I wonder how much of that offensive flurry took out of Brixton Nash. Fowler able to catch him coming in. Tilt a whirl heads into takeover, sends him over into the buckle. And there's a shades of a little old Fowler right there. Coming all the way from Mexico City, Iowa. Running forearm into the corner, follows it up. Here he comes across again, running chop. Shades of his mentor, Jason Strife. Yeah. Up and over with the Fowler Slam. Yeah. Is that enough to put Brixton Nash away? If he'd have been a little quicker into the pinfall, maybe so, but here we go. Only a two count right there. And you gotta wonder if the level that Justin Fowler is on at this point, if that cockiness, that arrogance is what that little momentary hesitation. He's taking the time to slap his hands in between there. Could have had it all put away right there. Standing front headlock there. He's got him up and over, looking like he's going for that jackhammer. Looks like it's being barked. Brixton Nash able to counter it. Delivers a delayed vertical suplex of his own right there. Spinning the hips, bringing him up and over. Into a beautiful fisherman's buster right there. Great combination of moves. Only a two count though. And it does not get much closer to that. Skeletor, oh our timekeeper, had the bell hammer in hand. Almost ready to ring it all right there. And look at the look on Brixton Nash's face. A little bit of frustration right there, but now he knows how close he is. He can taste championship gold. Sizing up Jay Fowler right now. Jay Fowler has got a silverback coming directly at him. That's a freight train if I've ever seen one. Nash coming in. Oh, runs right into a stiff side kick right there. Nash able to get him up. Got the big man up and over. Nash trying to counter. 
Fowler has to reset, gets it back up into a jackhammer. Is that all? Only a two count right there. That was only a two. I am impressed with the tenacity, the determination, the resiliency we've seen out of Brixton Nash. Like I said, used to tag team competition, used to being able to have a partner to tag in when your gas tank is on E right now. What's Fowler doing? What's Fowler doing? Fowler, we've seen in the past that he will resort, stoop to any level necessary. We saw him try this at Des Moines. And here's the other half of the Crucible, the number one contender. And we saw something very similar. Brixton Nash came out to prevent Fowler from using the championship right there. Nash catches him coming in. Beautiful kick right there. But now. Oh. So close. And the distraction from McGregor right there may have cost Brixton Nash. McGregor still on the apron, still arguing with referee Terry Davis. Old chap has got to take order here. Brixton Nash trying to size him up again, waiting for Fowler to get to his feet. Fowler's got to be running on instinct right now. I'm not even sure if he knows that he's in Fort Dodge right now. You can see the look. Oh my God! What was that? He just, he just won the point. He retained himself. Championships advantage. And still rugged pro heavyweight champion, Paul Steele, Jamie Powell. You know, Skeletor, I talk about how all steel Jay Fowler is still champion here, but victorious by disqualification, the silverback Brixton Nash. But again, Jay Fowler showing that he will do anything he can to get away and hold on to that championship title right there. And I never thought I would see the day where Jay Fowler would stoop to such levels. Just to retain the title. I'm in a loss of words right now, Olmos, as I've seen Jay Fowler. I've traveled the road with this man. He and I came up, got our feet wet in this business together, and I've had nothing but respect for Jay Fowler. And I can't, it's when you're stuck in between a hard spot, you know? You want to see the best outcome possible. You want to see the best winner right there.